guys welcome back to my channel it's natalie today i have for you a really exciting video i'm going to be proposing to my bridesmaids and maid of honor which i'm so excited about it's going to be bridgerton inspired so i'm going to show you guys basically the steps leading up to it and then the end result so first things first let's show you the boxes and everything that i included as well as the decorations all right so starting with the bridesmaid boxes i got them from the container store they're acrylic deep shoe boxes to be exact and i found these to be the perfect size and also pretty affordable if i'm not mistaken they were ten dollars each but i have six bridesmaids well five and one maid of honor i'm going to be personalizing every single box with their names using my cricut i already started with this one just testing it out but i love how it turned out so now i have five more to go all right so this is everything i'm going to be including in the bridesmaids boxes i want to give a huge thank you to these brands for making this happen starting with lulu's they sent over six of these choker necklaces, actually seven, one for me. These earrings right here are 14 karat gold, which I love, I actually already own. Next we have some Impress and Kiss nails, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much I love these nails. And I love the fact that it's like such a full circle moment because for our engagement story, if you guys remember, I actually needed to get my nails done that night. And randomly, I decided to wear some of their impressed color nails, which was a lifesaver for the engagement. These two right here, I'm going to be adding it to my maid of honors box because she personally likes longer nails. And then these five are going to go on the bridesmaid boxes. Lana Lips carries my favorite lip balm and hand cream. It's the Coco Nutter. It's so moisturizing and just like the best lip balm you'll ever find. So I'm excited to add these to the box as well. Supergoop sent over their Unseen Sunscreen 40 SPF, my favorite sunscreen. I actually have it here with my makeup. Again, best sunscreen ever. Philosophy, one of my favorite skincare brands ever. Also perfume. But the start of the show and honestly my top, top, top favorite for years is their Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. So I'm excited to add these as well. We have their moisturizer. This right here I haven't used, but it's so cute. It's their travel size dry shampoo. And my personal favorites, especially for the spring and summer, their Amazing Grace Magnolia travel size perfume. And then these three right here I got from Amazon. So I got them some hair clips, travel size makeup or toiletry bag. This is what it looks like inside and I think it's so cute because you can actually hang it when you travel and I'm going to be also personalizing it with my Cricut right here. I already made this one right here and then I got some travel size jewelry case to put the Lulu's jewelry in and I'm also going to be personalizing it with their initials. I also got these cards right here from Amazon as well that say will you be my maid of honor and will you be my bridesmaid. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going to go inside of the boxes. I'm now going to personalize everything. So let's get to it with the Cricut. All right, so to personalize the boxes, jewelry box and toiletry bag, I'm going to be using my Cricut like I mentioned. I'm going to be using their Smart Permanent Vinyl in white for the actual boxes and their white Smart Iron On heat transfer vinyl for the jewelry box as well as the toiletry bag. To transfer their initial and name, I'm going to be using their Smart Iron-On. This thing is amazing. All right, so with my Cricut Explorer 3, I'm going to be making all of the personalized names, stickers, and labels. I use PicMonkey to make all of the names and then I transfer everything back to the Cricut app. And then onto the actual boxes, I already pre-cut all of the names and then I'm going to be removing the vinyl. Carefully doing that, by the way, so that we don't lose any of the letters or pieces from the actual sticker. And then I'm going to be using the transfer tape and applying that over it. And then making sure that it's properly transferred with this tool right over here. Thank you. 
Now just carefully removing the transfer tape that way we don't lose any of the pieces and then centering the actual label onto the surface of the box. And make sure to take your time when transferring the vinyl onto the lid. Lastly, carefully removing the transfer tape. Make sure you take your time doing this step. Um, I'm doing it a lot slower than it is on camera and then I'm going to be reusing the transfer tape for all of the boxes. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually so satisfying and just fun to create these pieces and just make everything personalized. So catch me making every little thing personalized from now on. All right, so now using the smart iron on on the jewelry cases and also the toiletry bag, I have to say this was the hardest and scariest part because I really didn't want to like burn the fake leather or ruin the toiletry bag. However, Cricut.com actually has all sorts of fabrics on their website and it lets you know exactly the heating level and the time. So for these faux leather um, material it's 280 for 30 seconds so after you get the hang of it and lose the fear it's actually pretty easy and quick i also use a sheet of parchment paper over each project just to extra make sure that it didn't like ruin the boxes since i was on crunch time and didn't have time to rebuy these pieces Another cool thing is that depending on the heating level, it has a countdown. So you just have to press the little green button and it counts it down for you. All right, so for the toiletry bag, this is nylon, I believe, but um, that little space right there that I just covered is actually like a plastic material that in my opinion was super easy to melt. So I just put a little bit of the scrap that I already had over it. And then I again, removed carefully the name, make sure that all of the like spaces are completely removed and place it where I want it and then place the parchment paper over it and make sure that I didn't like went over that plasticky material and just the actual label. And here is how everything turned out. Honestly, way better than I expected and I couldn't be more obsessed with the Cricut, you guys. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, so now I'm going to fill in all of the boxes with some baby's breath as the filler and then adding... <laughs> Every day, late at night, not okay All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days cause all i want and i pray i believe in the better yeah. day i'm kind of stuck between a rock 
in a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to- Here is the finished look I am so in love with how they turned out I really wanted to add baby's breath because it's going to be kind of like the main focus of the wedding and like the main flower with other white flowers but I'm obsessed with baby's breath I've always been and they're very trendy right now This one is for my maid of honor which is why it's a little different than the ones above I just added a Swarovski ring and the nails are um, longer than the rest but everything else is the same like I showed you guys and now I'm just going to write some cards to finish up the box all right, now for decor, this is everything I got from Ikea. I actually got a couple other things at Dollar Tree, which I'll show you guys because they're upstairs. But I have here these plates, this little stand to put the desserts. I got a couple of these vases for the flowers. Tea light candles. This is actually from Target. Um, these plate settings. I'm obsessed with these cookies and I feel like they're very much Bridgerton vibes. And then these little, um, what do you call that? Tea light holder thing. I also got these candlesticks, which look so beautiful, perfect for the theme. This is what I got from Dollar Tree. I got like eight of these and they're upstairs. And the start of the show, what I'm most excited about, these glasses, how cute. prepping everything everyone's waiting downstairs for me so i have to rush but oh my god Lift the boxes first. <laughs> oh, lift them. Oh! 